What is going on, YouTube? Lamont at large uh, coming to you from Crown Hill Cemetery here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Today we are here to visit the grave of famed American gangster John Dillinger. This is the first time I've ever been to the cemetery, and uh, let me just say there's two parts to the cemetery. And this part right here is absolutely massive. There's literally tens and tens and tens of thousands of graves. I want to say there's well over a hundred thousand graves in this cemetery. So before I find his grave, which is going to take me quite some time, the office appears to be closed. I'm just going to have to kind of look for the section of where he's at. John Dillinger, one of the more famed gangsters of all time. Uh, there was even a movie uh, with him uh, as a character played by Johnny Depp called uh, Public Enemy. Sorry, kind of slipped my mind. Honestly, to me, uh, John Dillinger was, in a sense, a failed criminal uh, his early life was just uh him just being a knucklehead and going around acting a fool he ended up getting uh doing uh some time in the in the u.s uh military i believe it was in the navy which he quickly went awol because he figured that that kind of life wasn't for him and so he gets out uh, commits a bunch of stupid crimes uh, does 10 years in a reformatory which was pretty much a prison for young people uh, for a robbery that he didn't even really get any money out of I personally don't understand the lure of this guy uh, women claim that he's handsome and there was a uh, some kind of a uh, a folk lure about him about you know people saying that he was some type of a Robin Hood because at the time of all of his robberies uh, he was uh, it was during the Great Depression and a lot of people uh, had a lot of uh, hatred for uh, banks because they felt that they were the ones that caused the depression which was the worst economic time in our country's history and they had a lot of disdain for the banks and people felt that him and his gang going around robbing banks uh, was almost like a, a Robin Hood figure, even though that was uh, the furthest from the case. And this Robin Hood uh, figurehead that people have placed upon John Dillinger, like I said, was furthest from the case. His gang was responsible for at least 10 murders uh, during their... Uh, pillaging of, of banks and uh, throughout the Midwest uh, one of the uh, victims being a police officer I believe historians say that John J Dillinger had only uh, was a confirmed one kill uh, on his name even though it is suspected that he killed uh, uh, a few more people than just that Currently, right now, I'm looking for a section 44. Now, normally, I would go walk and look for his grave, except that i kind of in a hurry to leave. You guys know how I do it. I'm here today, gone today. And... Here he is, uh, the legendary American gangster, John Dillinger. 1903 to 1934, July 22nd, 1934 to be exact, was the night that he was apprehended, shot and killed, then being apprehended at a Chicago theater. He was out that night with a couple of so-called friends, one of them really not being his friend, the lady in red by the name of Anna Cabana. She was under deportation orders in the country illegally and in exchange for her setting up and getting John Dillinger apprehended, 
uh, she was hoping to stay the orders and some, receive some kind of leniency from the government. Uh, right here, this is Molly Dillinger. This is his mother. Uh, she died during surgery uh, when, when John was barely like three years old. And to the left is John Dillinger's dad, Sr. And to the left is Lizzie Fields Dillinger. This would be his second wife. So he's buried in between his two wives. And uh, so this guy, John Dillinger, uh, a, a complete uh, failure in his criminal career until he gets out of prison, then he becomes some kind of a Robin Hood folk figure. I don't understand it. There was a gentleman that was here visiting as well, and he left a nickel for him. And uh, this man was responsible, him and his gang, for 10 murders. One of them, of course, like I said before, previously being a police officer. And uh, never just did quite find the allure, but like I said, you know, a lot of people looked up to this guy because he was sticking it to the man. He was sticking it to the banks. He was taking money that, you know, was rightfully people's. I mean, who knows what people think about when, you know, they're thinking about uh, some kind of Robin Hood character. But the last time I checked, Robin Hood didn't kill people. But I don't know. So, uh, Anyways, uh, there was such a fervor over after him being dead, a, a local carnival barker offered John Dillinger's dad a thousand dollars if he could showcase his body for a week and co coincidentally enough here's a small factoid one of the reasons why people were so interested in seeing his body was there was a picture taken of John Dillinger after he was killed and his hand was stuck in a in a post-mortem pose you know and then when you when you're when you die your uh body becomes very stiff and rigor mortis sets in and his hand was placed in a way to where a lot of people thought that let's just say they thought that the hand was a different part of his anatomy and they thought that this guy was let's just say the big man on campus so to speak so everyone was just wanting to see this guy's body so to speak and it, recre it created some kind of a, uh, a an odd funny uh you know fervor of people wanting to see it uh during his funeral here if you could believe it or not looking all over here there was literally like a small riot uh this guy was very 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 popular guys don't think that this guy was a, like a criminal and people hated him no this guy was very beloved Again, I don't understand it, but uh, some things were not meant for me to understand. And as you can see right here, there was uh, camera people, news people, uh, reporters, uh, so many cop cars. Can you imagine all the cop cars, the old style cop cars from the 30s just lined up and down the street, uh, armed, uh, people threatening the re newspaper reporters. Uh, it, it was a, a circus environment. An absolute circus environment. And to prevent people from robbing his grave. Because as you can see. Pieces of his grave have been uh, chipped away throughout the years. People just wanting to get some kind of a, 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 a souvenir. Um, his grave had to be replaced before. And people keep chipping away at it. And to prevent people from robbing him uh, his grave was covered with three feet of concrete and rebar to prevent people from going in there so if you were to try to dig john dillinger up which i believe they did uh, not too long ago um his family were wanting to prove that this was john dillinger and it is john dillinger and yeah three feet of concrete was placed over his grave so Anyways, uh, a legend in death, if you will. A Robin Hood to some, murderer, robbing thief, criminal to others.
Uh, what says you? What What's your opinion on John Dillinger? Uh, please leave a comment uh, below. I'd like to hear from you. Anyways, uh, I'm out of here. I gotta hit the road. Guys, take it easy. Catch up with you on the next vlog. Peace out.